Rachel and Kirsty steered around a corner and came to a sudden stop. The goblins had stopped too and they were standing right in front of the girls. Rachel and Kirsty did not want to be spotted, so they quickly dug behind a potted plant. Carmen fluttered silently out of Kirsty's throat and perched on <coughs> one of the plant's white leaves. What are they doing? she whispered. Pitting at the group of goblins. Trusty groaned. I do not like the look of this, she said quietly. Do you see what they are all huddled around? Oh, Rachel gasped. It is a wedding cake. It was true. The upper tiers of a beautiful white wedding cake towered above the goblins' head. The cake <coughs> was covered with frosting flowers and the girls could see the small figures of a bride and groom on the very top. The goblins surrounded it, giggling gleefully, and licked their lips. That is the entrance to the ballroom, said Trusty, pointing to the doors just beyond the goblins. And see the sign over there? The Green and Jones Wedding. There is a wedding <coughs> reception going on right now. Carmen frowned, crossing her arms. This time the goblins have gone too far. It is one thing to ruin the cheerleading competition, but now they are going to spoil a wedding too. She stomped her foot and the leaf she was standing on bobbed up and down. What a bunch of greedy green minis. Just then they heard the goblin with the hair bow speak up. Okay team, here is what we will do. Let us form a goblin pyramid. That way we can climb up high and snag the delicious top of the cake. That silly bride and groom will never even miss it. Rachel shook her head in disbelief. Of course they will miss it. It is their wedding cake. But the other goblins all nodded enthusiastically, cheering. Great idea. Take the cake. And go team. They quieted down and listened as the goblin with the hair bow told them how to form the strongest, sturdiest pyramid. Then they scrambled into position. In no time, they began to form an incredible goblin pyramid right there in the hallway. Five goblins made the base of the pyramid, then four on the next level, three on the next level. Trusty and Christy, Rachel, and Carmen all held their breath as the pyramid grew taller and taller. Before long, it was almost as high as the towering cake. The goblin with the hair bone nodded in satisfaction and got ready to begin his climb. Rachel and Christy could see that once he reached the top of the pyramid, he'd be able to grab the top tier of the cake easily. Suddenly, Trusty's face lit up. Team Huddle, she whispered to Rachel and Carmen. The little fairy fluttered down to perch on Trusty's shoulder. And Rachel leaned in close. I have an idea, Trusty went on. But in order for it to work, we are going to need a little magic. Come and Green, you are in luck, girls. She held up her wand. Magic happens to, my, to be my specialty.